Hi guys, today I will talk about this book, Wise Blood by Flannery O'Connor. I hope that I spell her name right, pronounce her name right. Oh well, um, this, blood, this book, at first I, th I thought that it was going to be serious about religion, uh, some religious characters, but it wasn't like that. And I kind of enjoy reading the book. The uh, the author she uses a lot of implication, uh, little details, little stories that 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 let me think in my own way, in a free way. And uh, I was able to be um, to to um, to interpret uh, some details, some implication, my own way. Um, which is well, I kind of like it, you know, freedom, the f the freedom to think and to interpret a book. Well, yeah, let's just dive into some quote here. Saturn has become literature, when in reality he's the uneven present force in daily humane circumstance, violence growing out of ordinary mean minds. Even the emotions of the enlightened may have their unconscious seed. Oh, by the way, it's not in the author book, but it's the introduction. And there uh, we have author note to the second edition, which is were, which was in 1962. All comic novels that are any good must be about matters of life and death. She, what well, she wrote this book when she was twenty five, but she was, she was deadly serious. <laughs> kind of like her though. You can tell people better how terrible sin is if you know from your own ex from your personal experience. This is so true. Do you know why I'm very good at talking, speaking about sin? Mm, you know that I've been through it. Just kidding. Jesus died to redeem you, but I never asked him. You ought to mind the company you keep. Very important. Oh, I think. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I miss a quote though. Probably not. As that little child gets bigger, its weakness don't show so much. Cares and troubles come to perplex it, and all its weakness is driven inside it. Oh yeah. You know how I wanted people to just be like children. They do what they want and they don't have to think so much about it. And everything that they do is so innocent, so naive, right? Even if they hurt you, would you hate them? No, because you know that, well, they didn't mean to hurt you. Because they're children. I just wish I could, you know, treat everybody and know that everybody look at me like a child. <laughs> You don't have to believe nothing you don't understand and approve of. If you don't understand it, it ain't true. I can't just tell you to believe in God, right? One day, you, like for me, if my mom forced me to go to church every Sunday when I was little and I hated it, but I did it anyway, and um, but you know when I went to Australia and I lived alone with Australia, she wasn't there to force me. But I I kind of feel like yeah I wanted to to do it I wanted to go to church every Sunday. She doesn't have to 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 force me. She doesn't have to be there physically to force me. But I just I just do it because I like doing it. That's it. And if for today, 
What's right today is wrong tomorrow. The time to enjoy yourself is now. And so long as you let others do the same. That's so true. Like everything is changing. You don't know it. And you don't sometimes you don't make it change, but it just happen. Even you, you are changing. I am changing. We don't know, but it's happening. And change is the only constant in life. I think yeah, the best constant the only and the best constant in life. Nobody ought to be with their place of their own to be. Well, that's pretty much it. I um, don't have much to comment about a book. That's it for today. I hope to see you in the next video. Have a good one.